Hi, hello, welcome to my new video. So for today's video, I take you on the journey of how I prep for a market as a small business owner slash small artist. I'm the type of artist that create with many different types of medium. Sorry, I'll stop talking my hands. So I do create digital art, clay pieces, crochet, and what else? I think that's the main three right now. So for this video, I really did focus on just the crochet because I already have a lot of inventory for my clay pieces and as well as my stickers. So I didn't really focus on those two. And at the end of the video, I'll let you know how much I've made selling at a market. So if that is something that you're interested in knowing, Please watch the whole video and stay tuned till the end for that spicy info. Okay, I don't know why I said spicy info, but enjoy watching me prepping for a market. Ta-da! The purple one is completed. This is my favorite. It's a very biased opinion because purple is my favorite color. I'm still in the process of experimenting which white frilly thing I prefer I think I'm gonna do like somewhere in between I feel like this is too you know and this is very spaced out so I'm gonna do something in between and we'll see how that goes I just woke up kind of not really but I'm really sleepy today I just want to show you the brown scrunchie with the brown ruffle because I didn't change it to white I just continue it from like brown to brown and I really like how it looks and I did the ruffle stitch like how I was I really can't talk right now but the size of the ruffles I did the in between like I've mentioned earlier I really like this size of ruffles compared to the other two so I think I'm gonna do this size because it's not too like or not too take that however you like it but we love Ta -da! it's so cute Hi! Hello! So last night I showed you that I made this cute little sleepy ghost I think I'm not gonna sell it as a keychain I think I'm just gonna sell it as is uh, I always try to make things useful but Bets told me that I don't always have to make things useful Things can just be cute and that's it I also found this leftover green yarn and I'm gonna make a frog version of it because with this tabling I really want to make cute little um, like crochet things like scrunchies little plushies because I really want to use up the yarn that I have because I hate like hoarding stuff so I want to make cute little things so I can use them up and nothing goes to waste so I'm gonna search up a no so frog plushie a tiny one I'll leave the link of this tutorial down in the description box below because this is a no so tutorial and I love it it's um very chunky this is how it looks like on the side very big and uh, big boy it's a big boy compared to the ghost I like the material and the sizing of this one better so I'm gonna look online if my craft store has this type of yarn but in green and I'm gonna get it and make the frog in this size and this material because I just love how fluffy and fuzzy it is I'm not gonna search if our good old spotlight has that yarn in green okay bad news they don't have green they do have mint so what I'm gonna do is actually go into the store and see for myself what this mint color looks like If it's closer to green than it is to blue I'll just get it because I really want the material to match And if it's somewhat green, it doesn't really matter, you know 
um, but I'm just hoping that this mint isn't leaning closer to blue because some mints do be doing that so I'll have to go to the store maybe tomorrow because right now the shops are closed because it's freaking 5 p.m. So in the meantime, I'm gonna make more ghosts and for my next ghost, I'm gonna make a little mouth to see how it looks like, if it looks better because with the froggy, I did add a mouth and I kind of like it so I'm gonna see how it looks like on the ghost and I'm just gonna make a few of these before I have to go out for dinner but yeah Oh, by the way, if you recognize this outfit, that means you're a real one and you watched my previous video but yes, I filmed my videos right after I finished one so I literally just filmed that fit check in the previous video and now I'm filming this week's content but I'm gonna make a few of these ghosts before I have to head out and we'll see if we like the ghost with the mouth or without uh, and if you're wondering like how I crochet with such fuzzy yarn is honestly you just gotta hope for the best um, every hole you go through, you just have to like really really hope and be very confident that you're in the right hole. Yeah. Let me know which ghost do you prefer, the one with just eyes or the one that has a mouth as well. I feel like the one with the mouth looks a bit creepy. So the next one I'm gonna do is move the mouth up a stitch or upper row and see how that looks maybe it look cuter so this is the new ghost it definitely looks better than this one so i think this is gonna be the final design ow hi hello i wanted to show you a purchase i got for my table that's coming up a mini Christmas tree so for the crochet ornaments that I showed you in the previous clip I believe so I did I filmed that a long time ago like two weeks ago but I'm gonna hang them on this tree as display so people can like see how it looks like on a tree and then they'll be like oh my gosh that's so cute and they'll buy it hopefully well that's the plan Ta -da! and I'm really proud of this purchase because not only was I looking for a mini Christmas tree but I got it on a like really 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 good deal so originally it's it was ten dollars and then I had a five dollar voucher but then I was like oh, I'm so lazy I don't want to go right now and then now today I went this was on special five dollars out of five dollars voucher so it's free <laughs> and the previous clip when I was making the ghost and the frog um, I did say that they only had mint colored yarn so I got it this was the only like greenish option that's this material it's one of those where like as long as you don't put something that's true green next to it it looks green but if I have like a true green for example like this clip right next to it this will look blue so I'm not gonna display this next to my green items so that when it's next to the ghost it looks green yeah also let me mm, address the elephant in the room my background looks different if you didn't notice then that's kind of awkward but ta -da! a little sneak peek of a future video my future video will be like a studio makeover I'm still in the process of it this is not the final look this is just like the start of it really but yeah doesn't look much prettier so the market prep starts again because I took like a two day break painting and like organizing furniture in my studio because I'm so excited to you know see how it looks like I'm gonna start on the Christmas tree ornaments before I start on the Christmas ornaments I'm gonna make one froggy to see how it looks like with this material I know it's gonna look cute but we'll just see you know I'm also very excited because I got new yarn and I want to work with it even though I've worked with this yarn before but not this color so we're gonna make a froggy and see how it goes but before that I gotta do some adult things okay that sounded so wrong I just need to take my laundry out of the dryer that's it so 
I gotta do that before it gets all crinkly. Anyways. Hi, hello. I'm back with a frog. So, like I've showed you before, by the way, I'm watching Stephanie's suit at the back, but anyways. Like I showed you before, this is the first frog, and this is the new one with the mint color. Look at the size difference. Which I like because it matches the size of the ghost. So side by side, it looks like this. Hi, hello. It is currently 7.27am. And I just want to show you what I made last night. I made a little candy cane ornament. I sent it so in the ends, but isn't it so cute? But I've not made Christmas items before, so I don't know the popularity of it at a market. And especially for a small market like this, that's very like, very, I wouldn't like say niche, but it's at a kindergarten and it's like a family day, you know? So I don't really know the crowd and stuff like that. So I've made a few candy cane worms and since I'm just gonna have four in like total I'm pretty much done with the candy canes I just need to like insert the metal wiring and the string and I'm done I kind of like already started on the Christmas wreaths I'm gonna make six of each if I have enough yarn because I really do not want to go out to buy yarn I just want to stay home today and yeah, looks like I'll be able to finish with the Christmas theme items today and then tomorrow I'm just gonna focus on the plushies that I'll be having I only have two different types of plushies like I showed you in the previous clips maybe I hope if you're wondering what I'm having I'm having banana bread cake I don't know what this is my mom gave it to me and um, it's good that's all that matters right I don't know what I'm eating, but it tastes like banana and it looks like cake or bread, so free food is good food Hi, hello I am pretty much done making all the little worms for the wreaths but I'm taking a break from sewing it to become what it is and do some, I would say like boring stuff the ones that's like not so like creative but I'm planning on making little like tags to put like on the pieces just so it looks more I wouldn't say like professional but it looks more like done like you bought it from a shop type of aesthetic so I found some craft cardstock lying around I'm gonna print my logo on it and maybe do like double print it and the back would say like 100% handmade and then my info like my website and my IG maybe so I just made my logo black and white and I put it like a template like that and I hope it's cute it might be too big now that I look at it like three logos per row that's pretty huge eh maybe I'll make it smaller Hello, I came with very good news I think this is the first time Wait, why am I so like washed out? I think this is the first time where I plan to do something And it worked out perfectly Like no hiccups, no nothing I don't know what's going on But usually when I have something to print There'll be like a few errors before I get what I want But this time? Am I just a pro right now? Like what's going on? But as you can tell The front side will have my logo And the back side will just say 100% handmade My IG and man, my website Just double check it's correct now what's left to do with this is to just cut it and do like the punch hole Oh wait, okay I'm getting too excited because I have a corner rounder and I want to make the corners round I just love making everything round 
Is that why my cat's so fat? Just kidding, he's not fat. This is what the little tag will look like. Isn't it so freaking cute? And this is the back of it. Ta-da! I've hung it at the back. I did try to hang it like down here, but because I'm gonna hang it on the tree as display, I want it like kind of hidden, you know? But that's how it looks like. Isn't it so cute? It looks so professional. Oh my god. Can I open a shop already? Okay, sorry. I'm being very annoying because I'm very excited. Look at all these ghosts and froggies all ready to go. They're all tagged. And also, all these Christmas ornaments that are tagged. So those are all the tag pieces. I do have three more ornaments to tag and as well as all these scrunchies. So I'm going to print more tags. I'm going to print extra just to have in stock so that... I don't have to keep printing and cutting them but I also can't forget to go to the bank to withdraw some cash because last time I market I forgotten and I had to go to the supermarket and like bother the lady be like can I please have small notes um, but this time I'm gonna remember to go to the bank before it closes and withdraw small notes just in case people pay by cash even though the last market that I did, pretty much no one paid with cash, just card. But you'll never know, you know? Um, also, this market will be primarily kids. So, you know, kids will more likely to have cash from like their grandma or like, I don't know, like tooth fairy money. So, I feel like I should have cash on me just in case, you know? You, you never know. Also, it's good to have cash in your wallet anyways because... Again, you never know. <laughs> I do plan on being done with like working with crocheting and like packing and all that stuff by 8 p.m. I hope right now is 8:47 a.m. So I do have mm, more or less 12 hours. Yeah, I decided to stop on the scrunchies. I just have one more to make, which is of this pink color with white ruffles and that's it so i wasn't sure if i wanted to include stickers for this market but the last market my stickers actually did pretty well with the kids a lot of kids bought stickers even though they don't i don't think they watched the anime like that i was selling like the anime stickers but kids just like stickers you know so i'll just put them there and if it gets sold it gets sold but it is the cheapest item that will be on my table so it is more likely to get sold than other pieces this is my first time buying a Christmas tree yeah I don't sell it Christmas if you don't already know by how I'm struggling trying to make this look like a pretty Christmas tree I just want to show you guys how it looks like with the ornaments. That's it, really. Oh my goodness, you can't even see it. But this is how I intend to like display it. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Okay, I'm being so annoying. Um, I don't know if I did this correctly. I don't know if I did this correctly. Is this how you? <laughs> is this how you decorate a tree? I've never done this before, so. Ta-da! This is my first Christmas tree, guys. What do you think? Is it sad or is it cute? I don't know. But I feel like it does its purpose. It, it does its job at like advertising that these are Christmas ornaments. You know, the tree, the lights. That's really what I wanted to portray anyways. The aesthetics, I don't know if it's all there, but... The purpose is there. Ta da! I'm actually pretty proud of it.
I usually print it and like make it all pretty but because low-key this is a very small market that I don't really stress on my branding I just decided to do this I'm missing two coasters obviously I'll put it up um, tomorrow when I set it up for real so the coasters and down here would be the stickers please don't mind that mess and then we have our clay stuff Ba -da -da. And then down to our crochet items Card holders, scrunchies, mini plushies And as well as the OG beaded jewellery That's how I started Dear Kiri by the way with those beaded jewellery And then here I have my Christmas Hold on huh. There we go My Christmas tree and over here, I'm just going to put the leftover ornaments that I'm not going to hang. And that is my setup right here. How cute. This is my first time doing like an l shape sort of configuration. So I don't know how this is going to go. But I did this with the purpose of having this space free. And that's why I'm going to put the coasters. So if someone wants one, I can just, you know, pick it up. And also my packing materials will be back here so it is nice to have something or some space to work with it is currently 653 and I'm done with everything that I told you guys I would do that's it for today and then tomorrow I'll give you updates and whatnot so I'll see you tomorrow bye bye I'm gonna go have a really nice warm shower and just wind down, relax, watch all the YouTube videos that I've been wanting to watch and yeah, just just rest before tomorrow. I'm actually pretty nervous, but anyways, <laughs> see you tomorrow. It's market day. But yes, this is market day face. Do I look approachable? Hi, how are you? But I'm known to have a resting bitch face. Like when I just go, do I look like I'm about to fight you? I don't know. So I try to like, you know, always smile when I'm at my stall. Is that creepier than... I don't know. But anyways, I just want to update you guys or like say hello to you guys. Before I go to the market, I might show... Actually, no, I will show the setup of it like when I'm there. And then, yeah, it's a market there, baby. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm more excited than nervous because this event is like a... Like I said, kindergarten event. So it's not just like stall holders there. There'll be like other stuff. I think there's going to be a petting zoo, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm pretty excited to see that, actually. I'm pretty on brand. Crochet, head scarf thingy, crochet jumper. This is this jumper I made... Girl. I made this jumper, by the way. Hello, it's me again. I did not film this after I filmed the intro at all. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching the whole video. If you're here to know the spicy secret info of how much I've made as a stall holder for a market that's at a kindergarten, I think I did pretty, pretty, pretty good. So in total, I've made 105 so I sold five stickers, one Christmas ornament, two ghosts, like the crochet ghost that you saw, one beaded earring, two coasters, and um, two keychains. Oh, and um, one, two, three crunch. I was gonna say crunchies, three scrunchies. So that is all that I sold that day and because this was a market at my friend's workplace I didn't have to pay a fee it's like a family day event so everything that I made like I didn't have to pay for a table or anything so that's all profit well kind of if you minus like the materials whatever we're not going to get into that but in total I made $105 for three hours and that is 
crazy. So yeah, that is it for today's video and I hope you found it. I guess like what I really want people to take away from this video is for them to feel motivated or let this be the video that pushes you to want to be a stall holder that you want to table at some event or even like your local school or you know stuff like that i know a lot of people that follow me on instagram have dm me saying like oh i really want to like you know start tabling uh, you made it look so like easy you just gotta start and stop overthinking about like oh i want to make you know my table perfect it's hard to be perfect at the get-go you have to learn through mistakes so your first few tables just have fun with it and create products that you truly love and you just want to share and let people have that piece of love from you to bring home that sounds creepy but that is my only advice is to just have fun and really just create what you love and just do it i know i'm wearing adidas right now but just do it i'll see you guys in my next video oh and my next video is something very very exciting in my opinion it is i am gonna ask chat gpt and ai to give me a crochet pattern to crochet and we'll see what this i was gonna curse sorry what this robot has to say what this robot's gonna give me what this robot thinks is cute anyways as you can tell i have a bit of a love-hate relationship with ai but we'll see in the next video actually i'm working on this piece right now i'll give you a little sneak peek eh? yeah <laughs> all right see you guys next week bye bye Ew, I never do flying kiss. What the heck's gotten to me? Bye!